Hi, I'm Serena Orsi and welcome back to Saucy TV. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you five of my favourite everyday go-to looks. So I tend to do these looks when I'm going to the gym, shopping, lunch dates, whatever it may be. They're super simple, quick and easy to do. So if you're in a rush or you just simply can't be bothered to do hair or don't know how, then these are five tips that every girl should know. So before we get to the hairstyles, a tip that I'm going to share with you is to use a serum. Now this will just make your hair look super glossy and naturally shiny before you actually style your hair. Now I like to use an argan oil one just because I find it gives me the sleekiest look possible. However, there are ones that if you've got more frizzy hair to tame it or damage or colour treated hair, you can just go into Boot, Superdrug or you can actually get it online. So what I do is I pour a generous amount just into my palm. Don't overdo it because you don't want to take it away from that natural shine. And then you, I like to, some people do it from behind their head, but I like to pull both, all of my hair forward on either side. And then just kind of spread the serum evenly through your hair. If you notice how I'm starting from about midway down to the ends of my hair, if I can say anything is to stay away from the roots of your hair and the scalp because this will just make your hair look super oily and greasy and you do not want that. So if you can see, it's just given it more of a natural shine, it's tamed any flyaways that I might have had. And yes, we are ready to hairstyle. Okay, so for our first hairstyle, this is probably the most simple and the most easy one to do out of the five that we're going to be doing today. And it is a high ponytail. So to start, I just flip my head over like this. Some girls like to lean their head back and get all their hair, but I find by flipping it over, you are able to just get all of your hair and get it into the position that you really want it to be. It's not too high like a pineapple and it's not too low. It should be when someone's looking at you from the front, just so you can see it a little bit, but not too high. I'm also not a fan of lumps and bumps, so I do tend to just spend a lot of time smoothing it all out. And if worse comes to worse, I'll just use a bobby pin later. But as you can see, it's quite sleek and effortless looking. So with this, I'll then tie my hair. As you can see, it is a bit tight, but I do like to wrap my hair around three times and then pull it. I feel like this just secures it more in place. Um, if I did only wrap it around twice, it would be super loose and just fall out. So if you're like me and you do have quite a full head of hair and it's thick, then I would suggest wrapping the hairband around three times. So after we've got this, I do then just like to pull bits of my hair forward just to make it look a bit more effortless and kind of like a, a cup like this vibe. So I just like to make it loose and also I like to pull out little bits from the front. Again, just to make it look a bit more messy if you like and like I said, effortless. So there is the high ponytail. Now as I said before, this is a really simple, just kind of basic look. So if you want to spice things up a bit, I would suggest getting a scrunchie um, and using that over your hairband. Or what I like to do, and this is a super good hack, is you just get a bit of hair, not too much and not too little, from the bottom of your ponytail. And then, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to wrap it round. This kind of takes a bit of moving the ponytail forward and back. And obviously I've got super long hair, so it does take quite a few goes round. And then, as you can see, I'll then get a bobby pin, just like this, and, oh, and pin it underneath where the hair stops. I'll just pin it into the ponytail. And now, as you can see, the ponytail, the hairband is completely hidden by my hair. So that just kind of spices it up a little bit and makes it look like you put a bit more effort into it when really it only took us about two minutes. Right, let's move on to our next hairstyle which is the high bun. So in order to do a high bun you basically just have to start off with a high ponytail which we have literally just done. So if I just get it back to normal, the high ponytail. So then what you do from there is you collect all of the ponytail together and start to twist the hair around like this and then you just basically wrap it around the middle of your head. I go clockwise but I guess it doesn't really matter, it's just what you find more comfortable to do. And then some people do like to add another hairband to secure it but I just add bobby pins all the way around and that way it just makes it look a bit more effortless um, and more loose rather than that sleek look. So 
that is the high bar. Now, when you first start doing these, when I first started, it looked different every single time, but the more you do it, the more you get the hang of it, and it will end up looking just how you want it. So now that we've done the high bun, it's time to move on to one of my favorite easy, simple hairstyles, which is the low bun. So it's pretty much just like what we did for the high bun, but a lot lower down. So if you just take out all the bobby pins from the high bun. And basically reset your hair so it's just down like it would be all normal. You definitely still be finding bobby pins like me, all in the hair. I think that's it. So what we'll do is now, is we kind of just smooth the hair down at the back and get it back to how we want it at the front. And I'll turn to the side so you can see it a bit better, but you basically just scoop up all your hair and bring it as low down as possible so it's right at the bottom of your head. And with the high bun, I know I tied it first into a ponytail, but for this, I kind of just like to twist it with no band or pins or anything to start with. And then again, once you've twisted it, you just wrap it around, keeping it as low as possible. And then unlike the, hair, the high bun, you just get your hairband and wrap it all around like this. And as you can notice, I've just kept out a few bits at the front. So that is your low bun. Now, if you love having your hair down like me, then this next basic hairstyle is for you. I like to call it the half up, half down. So with this one, you just have all your hair down and then from about halfway down your head, just kind of collect some hair. Again, if little bits like this fall out, don't worry, because I think it just makes it look a bit more effortless like that. And then I'll just carry on and tie the bit that it is up in a ponytail like this and then pull it just to secure it and make it a little bit tighter and then as you can see now not only does my hair look a lot longer it is also volumized the top so this one then kind of leads into our last hairstyle for today which is then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the ponytail to a bun now instead of doing the basic kind of neat looking bun that we've done previously in the video i'm going to show you more how to do a messy bun so if i just take out the ponytail but keep the bit that's half up already like this. And then what you do is you kind of pull your hair through the hairband about halfway down and then wrap it all round as many times as you can. It is quite tight, but it will just create more of a messy look anyway. So as you can see, it's not as neat as the other buns were, but I kind of like this look because it's probably the most effortless, but still pretty looking look. And it just kind of gives the whole hairstyle a little more of a sign sign. This is probably one of my favorites. So there you have five of my everyday favorite saucy hairstyles. I hope you like them and thank you for watching.